Courtney, thank you so much for joining me today. How are you doing? How's the family? Everything's good, you know, as good as it can be under the circumstances. Um, family's good, everyone's healthy. So um, yeah, it's, it's been good. And uh, how has how uh, family life been during lockdown? Obviously it can be challenging being stuck in uh, so much. So how have you been coping with that? Um, it, it's not too bad. It hasn't really been that bad for us. Um, we have a pool in our backyard and Arizona weather has been nice. So we've been able to get out. Um, as far as like the lockdown goes, we've still been able to, you know, go hiking. They've been encouraging everyone to get out. So it hasn't been like stuck, stuck in the house, which has been good. That's good. And and what what's it like locally? I know there are some places that are starting to open up again. Um, what, what's it like in your area at the moment? Um, I think as of right now, we're still on lockdown till the 15th of May. And then, uh, but there's all kinds of different criteria in there that some people can open, but not gyms and salons and things. But um, other than that, I mean, I really don't know. I'm kind of trying to focus as much as I can on, on getting through the fight camp as difficult as, as that has been. But, um, yeah, I think for sure we're opened up 100% on the 15th, from what I've heard. Okay, okay. And and you and Drekar Close are a couple. Um, so, yep. yeah, so talk a little bit about that and, how, you know, that must be the best situation to, to have him there to, to help you prepare for a fight. Yeah, um, it's, it's been good. Um, you know, we just, we're just trying to get so sorry. Yeah, sorry. It's okay. Um, uh, we were training partners and that's kind of how it, it developed from there. Um, I was doing his nutrition for a while. And we're just spending a lot of time together. And then, I mean, obviously just having the same kind of love for the sport and understanding each other's demands. Um, you know, so it kind of just kind of blossomed from there. Um, he hasn't been able to uh, help me too much with this camp other than cooking and cleaning and things like that because he, uh, he ended up getting uh, shoulder surgery after his last fight. So I haven't... Hi. <laughs> I haven't had as much as a training partner, but he's definitely been picking up the slack around the house and things like that. Nice, nice. So so what have you been able to get done then in terms of preparing for a fight? Um, it's been a lot more one on one training, a lot of um, you know, specific training for, for me. Uh you know, uh, it since the gym's been closed, it's been tough. So we've been doing a lot of training out of the out of uh, the garage. Um having people, you know, come in as safely as we can uh, for the first couple weeks of camp. And then obviously it got completely shut down. So we weren't able to have anyone over. So it was just kind of drilling with my, uh, my roommate, our other roommate, and then a lot of bag work and, and just individual kind of drilling that I could do on my own. Mm -hmm. and, and we last saw you in the octagon back in February. Uh, so what have you been up to since then? Ah. Uh, just battling a lot of injuries. Um, pretty much that's it. Like just trying to get back on the horse. I got, um, I had a fight, uh, I think it was back in December. I'm not a hundred percent sure when it was, but I ended up coming back too early from an injury, getting re injured. And so this time we made sure we took as the, you know, the proper amount of time before I stepped back into the cage. And then obviously we moved up a weight class just so we didn't have to battle that weight cut while coming off of so many injuries. So we can just really focus on just being healthy and, and, and strong throughout the camp. So then is there anything that you've kind of taken away from, obviously it didn't go your way back in February. Is there any kind of changes that you've made or anything that you've thought you need to improve on that you've been working on? Um, I think a lot of it is just, I mean, all my fights have been super close. So really it's just making sure that, I'm winning moments and, you know, not, I, I really just got to end up finishing the fights because I can't let it go to the judges. It just, it just doesn't seem to go into my favor when it goes to the judges. So I think the main part is I just really been focusing on getting the finishes and working a lot on um, power punches and things that are going to stand out um, in the judges' eyes if it does go to the distance. But other than that, it's, it's really the same game plan. I've always tried to go out there and finish fights. And sometimes my opponents don't really want to fight me how I, you know, how I want the fight to go, which is, has been tough. A lot of them want to play a little bit in point. And I think that's just because of the weight class that I was in, because I was so big for the weight class that they really didn't want to get in brawls and fights with me. They kind of wanted to get in and get out and just kind of point me, which was really frustrating. So I think 125 is going to be a little bit different. 
um, as far as that goes. But again, there's a lot of obstacles with that uh, moving up a weight class. I still think even though um, I'm tall for the you know for that division, I'm not small as far as that goes. But I just think my stature is a little bit smaller. Um, so we'll see how it goes. We're just going to try to make the adjustments and, and see how 125 goes. You know, 115 isn't out of the out of you know the picture. It's just for this part, we thought it was best at 125. Okay, and and you are booked to face Mara uh, Barella on uh, May 16th. Uh, how did that fight come about? Um, my other opponent wasn't able to to get into the states because she was in Brazil, and they offered me another opponent, and she turned it down. And I mean, I pretty much was just going to say yes to anyone, and they offered me her. I didn't. Again, I'm new to the 125 pound division, so I really don't know a lot of them. Uh, so I just said yes, and then. Um, still waited a couple of days to make sure it was a for sure thing. And then my manager said it was definitely a go. And that's pretty much how, how it came about. I, I, I just told them I was going to say yes to anyone. So whoever they, whoever they could get to agree to a fight during the time, um, I was going to take it no matter what. And she's coming off of two losses. Have you looked much into her and what do you think about her? How would you break her down? Um, she's, she's definitely like a, a striker, kind of judo girl from what I watched. Um, I really don't know her background, you know, very well. Um, I just, I try to just only watch like maybe one fight, two fights, um, just to kind of see tendencies more than anything. And then I leave the rest of it up to my coaches to break down. Uh, but yeah, mainly it was just going in there and making sure that I fixed the holes that I needed to fix, you know, something that, you know, from their coach's standpoint, looking at me, like what they were kind of try to, ex uh, exploit. So, those are the little areas that I mainly focus on. I normally don't train specifically for one fighter. I just train to get better and then throw in a little bit of things, you know, tendencies that, that we can see um, on film. From what you've seen then, do you see where you will have the strengths in this fight against her? Um, I definitely think I'll have the strength uh, standing and I'll, I'm pretty sure I'm going to have the speed advantage on her. So, you know, um, my main focus is go in there and get the job done and, and hit her as many times as I can without getting hit. And obviously this is the, I think this will be the third event back since all of the cancellations. What does it mean yeah. for you to be on, on this card? And, and what's your opinion on fighting during this pandemic? Because there are a lot of mixed uh, opinions. Um, it's our job, you know what I mean? I really can't say too much about it. Um, it's definitely difficult, that's for sure. Um, it's not a typical camp. It's not a typical living environment for anyone. You know, we have trifecta that ended up. Sorry. So he's dragging tape around. Um, you know, uh, trifecta, you know, it's been three weeks without trifecta. So we have to readjust all that, our meal planning and things. So um, it's just been difficult. I'm, I'm not against us fighting because I definitely, I mean, we need to, you know, this is our only source of income. We pretty much live paycheck to paycheck, um, fight to fight, I guess you can say. So uh, for me, I'm happy that I'm able to fight. I know a lot of people are kind of against it, but we're fighting in a state that's already opened up. Uh, UFC always takes all the precautions that, you know, they need to take to make sure that us as fighters and the staff and, and everyone is safe. From what I've heard, is still going to be no fans. We possibly could get uh, friends and family, but we're still not sure about that. Um, it would be awesome if we can get, you know, at least our parents there, you know, everyone get two tickets or something, who knows? Um, it would be nice, but at the end of the day, you know, we got to go in there and do our job regardless if there's fans. It's definitely, definitely going to be a weird fighting in a silent arena. How, how do you think you prepare yourself for that? Cause obviously that's going to be something that's completely different for you. We've been training with no music. We've been training with very little chatter. Uh, you know, our gym's not open, so uh, it's already been kind of a pretty personal uh, setting as far as that goes. Um, it's weird because you can hear the cage moving and, you know, the wood popping and different sounds like that. You can hear your coaches a lot better. Uh, so I, I don't know how it's going to go. Um, I've been pre preparing myself the best I can for a situation like that, but it, it, I don't think it's something you can really prepare 100% for. You just kind of kind of got to play it by ear. So in your head, how do you see the fight going down on May 16th? 
Man, I think I'm going to get a finish for sure. I definitely, um, I feel really confident uh, in the in the game plan that we have set forth and um, just my training. Uh, it being smaller, more personal, I've been able to really, you know, have attention on the little details where it's not, you know, coaches up with 15, 16 other guys. Um, I've been able to, you know, handpick my training partners and, you know, limit injuries and things like that because it's really just been focused on me which I've kind of kind of like the the smaller more personal setting um because I feel like we can get a lot more accomplished in the small amount of time that we have uh you know for those hour practices that we do get uh so I definitely think I'm going to be able to go in there and really show um show my skill set for sure and you did mention obviously before about the the close decisions split decisions that you've had in the past so is there an urgency for you to go out there and get a finish? Yeah, I mean, there's always an urgency. I definitely I definitely always try to finish the fight wherever it goes. You know, if they take me to the ground, I'm trying to finish them there. If they want to stand, I'm trying to finish it. So um, I really pride myself on always trying to finish the fight. It just hasn't gone my way. Um, you know, the, so, some of those girls are fast at 115. They like to get in, get out. You know, Michelle Watterson, you know, is really good at that, uh, that point fighting, that kind of karate style point fighting. And I feel like that division is, is very good at that. They know how to play the game. Um, where I feel like the 125 pound division is, is more kind of a raw fighter style, uh, division because everyone is, is kind of, I feel like that weight class is like a a true weight class for, for the women division. It's pretty stacked, you know, throughout everywhere. So, um, I'm really excited to go in there and really, you know, put on a show against someone who's, Who's willing to fight like like Mara? How do you see your hand getting raised? Uh, I I really do think I'm going to get a finish. I, I definitely think I'm going to get a finish. Yeah. Okay. Well, we really look forward to seeing it on May 16th. Thank you so much for talking to me. Thank you. Thank you.